SCP-3657 is the corpse of Robert Ruth, an obscure American actor which starred in various films throughout the 1990s and early 2000s. SCP-3657-1 is a spatial anomaly, manifesting in the place of SCP-3657's internal organs in the abdominal cavity. This anomaly physically manifests as a door to a diner, with a flashing neon sign reading, Coffee, behind the glass. Despite its appearance, SCP-3657-1's interior does not resemble a coffee shop, and is relatively featureless. Pressing the coffee button causes the coffee machine to dispense a single paper cup. Coffee will begin to pour out of SCP-3657's nipples. The coffee produced by SCP-3657 has been found to not possess any anomalous properties, and its taste is generally described as too creamy. SCP-4026 is a phenomenon affecting an estimated 100-meter stretch of land of the Beachy Head Chalk Headland in East Sussex, England. In order to activate an SCP-4026 event, a single subject must approach an affected area with suicidal intent. Upon coming within 5 meters of the cliff's edge, SCP-4026-1 will manifest and engage the subject. SCP-4026-1 resembles a humanoid of indeterminate age and sex, which possesses minor cognitohazardous properties. Survivors of SCP-4026 events claim to have no memory of interacting with SCP-4026-1, but are able to recall being dissuaded from ending their lives via unexplained means, typically citing an overabundance of negative emotion and disgust at their actions. SCP-4026-1 will demanifest when its target is no longer within 5 meters of it. 93% of recorded SCP-4026 events result in the activating subject's survival. SCP-4192 refers to the nucleus of a single hydrogen atom that emits radio waves at random intervals. Research on SCP-4192's makeup has been inconclusive, as SCP-4192 does not appear to be composed of quarks, but of something else entirely. An experiment was conducted to ascertain the physical properties of SCP-4192. During the experiment, Goliath AIC detected repulsion emanating from the atom as it breached the atomic orbital of SCP-4192. Goliath AIC was ordered to continue with the test and push the needle further into the atom. The experiment was immediately interrupted by an Omega-1 alert from Foundation satellites, which reported an extremely large celestial object approaching the planet. Imaging from the satellite feed depicted a tubular metal rod with a projected collision directed towards the North American continent that was expected to strike Philadelphia, the current location of Site-98. Goliath AIC immediately withdrew the needle apparatus from SCP-4192, effectuating the large object to immediately reverse in its direction until it could no longer be detected by the satellites. SCP-4389 are a species of parasitic moth. SCP-4389's eggs are only 200 micrometers in diameter and are carried by the air until landing on a human's face. Upon contact with human skin oils, SCP-4389 caterpillars will hatch, migrate towards the person's eyebrows, and burrow into hair follicles. While the person sleeps, the caterpillars consume hair and each other, rapidly growing in size and sprouting hairs that match the host's color. The last two caterpillars remaining entrench themselves into the skin and brow ridge occupying the same location as the former eyebrows. Due to their composition and body structure mimicking the texture of human faces, SCP-4389 infestations are rarely noticed. Upon the conclusion of their larval stage, SCP-4389 form cocoons made of hair, and often induce severe headaches, migraines, or even unconsciousness in hosts. After about 24 hours, the cocoons burst open, releasing swarms of 80 to 120 moths resembling the Isabella tiger moth, each one composed of extremely long animated hairs. SCP-4394 is Joaquin Marquez, a former concert pianist with an anomalous viscous black fluid, SCP-4394-A, in place of blood. SCP-4394-A is composed mainly of proteins and organic polymers. When cooled below its freezing point, 1.19 degrees Celsius, a quantity of liquid SCP-4394-A crystallizes into a proportionately sized functional grand piano. When ingested, SCP-4394-A will pass through the digestive tract unchanged, but may cause mild nausea. However, SCP-4394-A possesses narcotic and mutagenic properties when injected intravenously. While under the influence of SCP-4394-A, subjects experience a noted increase in creativity and productivity, as well as a heightened sense of hearing. SCP-4394-A is moderately addictive. Its effects increase in potency before plateauing and tapering off as the body develops tolerance. SCP-4481 refers to a piece of extra-universal wreckage which was discovered off of the coast of Florida in February of 1986. SCP-4481 consists of a craft superficially resembling a NASA space shuttle including the cockpit, one surviving engine, and the dorsal side of the fuselage. SCP-4481 contains several items of note. SCP-4481-A was the sole surviving crew member aboard SCP-4481. 
SCP-4481-A is a costume resembling the character of Big Bird from Sesame Street, albeit with several discrepancies. SCP-4481-A was found in the flooded cockpit of SCP-4481, attempting to drown itself. When SCP-4481-A was alive, it was capable of muffled vocalization, most of which were pleas for death. Interviews conducted during this time provided no gainful information. SCP-4481-A successfully drowned itself before it could be recovered. SCP-4597 is a young human male suffering from dermatillomania. SCP-4597's skin possesses accelerated, if flawed, regenerative properties. Observation has shown that regeneration takes only a few minutes even when entire sheets of skin are torn away. Due to this, large portions of SCP-4597's dermis are heavily scarred and discolored. Additionally, the dead cornea stratum layer is abnormally thick, ranging from 5 to 120 millimeters depending on location with SCP-4597's lips, fingers, toes, and knees exhibiting the thickest layers. SCP-4597's dead skin is abnormally difficult to cut or pierce without the use of either metal tools, lasers, or SCP-4597's teeth or nails. It also becomes gradually thicker and more durable each time it heals. SCP-4597 partially circumvents this durability by exploiting weak points, such as ingrown hairs, existing notches, or water-softened areas in order to continue its self-destructive behaviors. SCP-4763 is a disused well in Gillsfield, Wales. SCP-4763 remains constantly filled to a depth of 10 meters with a viscous black fluid. This fluid, when ingested, will trigger a permanent restructuring of local reality with specifics as outlined in document 4763 Aeschylus. Due to the nature of pathos, these restructurings are invariably harmful, physically or emotionally, to the subject consuming the fluid. SCP-4763 was located following the death of 13-year-old Timothy Driscoll, who drowned in the well alongside his two pet dogs, having fled to the farmland as refuge from his abusive father. Both dogs had gone missing in the months prior, and were reunited with the child only after his death. Timothy's father later drowned while attempting to recover the body before the authorities could investigate, and his mother committed suicide through hanging after hearing of the news. Due to the fixture of the noose to a weakened support beam, their family home collapsed moments after her death, killing Timothy's elder brother and three further family pets. SCP-4813 is the weaponized self-worth of researcher the conceptualization of SCP-4813 by a sapient subject results in the anomaly manifesting in the subject's immediate vicinity, taking the form of a metaphysical semi-corporeal construct. This is visualized as a human hand in a finger gun gesture, translucent with images of a clear sky suspended inside. Despite its structure, the construct can still be wielded as a normal handheld pistol. Firing the construct releases a luminescent projectile resembling flower petals. Targets impacted by the projectile have a copy of researcher self-worth implanted into them. The copy is non-weaponized. Events thereafter proceed as would be expected from the possession of researcher self-worth. Subjects wielding SCP-4813 report periodically hearing an androgynous voice, speaking from an indeterminate source around them. All speech consists of brief statements, separated by pauses that typically last for several hours. SCP-4878 is a small, 35 centimeters long, ovoid, metallic signaling device that influences cockroach behavior. SCP-4878 continuously emits several overlapping radio frequencies that exert an anomalous effect on cockroaches within an approximate 700 meter radius. Affected cockroaches will form a single large swarm and undergo temporary physical and social changes including an increased metabolism, increased hostility to non-cockroaches, and a greatly reduced aversion to light. The cockroach swarm will move cohesively as a single unit following food, with a small number of cockroaches in the swarm carrying SCP-4878 such that it remains close to the geometric center of the swarm. Cockroaches affected by SCP-4878 will attempt to eat almost anything in their path. If the swarm encounters a structure it is incapable of chewing, it will instead use its collective mass to attempt to destroy the structure. Notably, SCP-4878 will not harm humans, even in self-defense. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.